Hey Aries, how's it going? What's cackalackin? <laughs> this is your May 2023 reading. Please show me. Please show me the Emperor, the King of Wands, or the Queen of Wands, and then I'll know we're ready to begin for the sign of Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, last but not least. Sun, moon, rising. For the month of May. Or the Fool, actually. I will take the Fool and the Emperor, the King of Wands, or the Queen of Wands. Since the Fool is the beginning guy, and Aries is the beginning guy, too. I think you guys are the only guys that, uh, only peeps that I've shuffled on camera for. So you can tell the others that I'm not cheating, I swear. It just takes a little longer on camera and I prefer not to do it, but heck, why not? I already started. My Fool card, my King of Wands, and my Queen of Wands. Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. I got the lotus uh, incense going. It smells pretty good, actually. You get to be first next time, Aries. Last this time. Oh, there we go. See? We're ready. That's my last one. Aries one, Aries two, Aries three, Aries four, five, six, seven,
Okay. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh, killing it. Okay. Presently, Aries, you are having a little bit of a glow up. Um, you could be going through some sort of healing um, from a past situation. I don't see um, anything bad in the past, though. I see you having been very intuitive about something, maybe a love relationship or something. Um, also, somebody could have came in and helped you in regards to something um, in your life. There is this kind of motherly, um, emotionally nurturing kind of um, very helpful, caring person that was figured in the past. Um, seems like they were a big part of your past. And now coming into the present, I see this kind of glow up or kind of... Uh, Kind of like a dream come true kind of situation. Now with the star, um, she follows some tough times, right? That's why I said that. So she is very much about um, humanitarian, uh, humanitarian um, efforts and things. Um, she gives back to the world and receives um, blessings from it. She is very much in her own nature. She's comfortable with herself. She's um, not afraid to be vulnerable. Um, in fact, that's what makes her unique. That's what makes her shine. So you're, you're, you're letting go of any baggage that had to do with any hang-ups with yourself. Um, and coming into a, a time of um, having some faith and some um, trust in the universe. And what's crossing you at this time is this beauty and abundance. So you might be starting to um, take better care of yourself you will be doing like a regimen of beauty care and that doesn't mean you have to be a Barbie doll or anything. This can be literally just doing more grooming and self maintenance. This can also mean um, a dream come true in a love situation, feeling very abundant um, because the Queen of Cups is there and then the star and the Empress in a row. I think that maybe um, some of you might be having um, a baby or have or have finally gotten to the point where you're ready to do that. But there is something being um, created, being birthed here into um, existence. So it could be a creative project that could be um, very artsy or aesthetic. Um, this is also healing from um, the earth or healing feminine or female, um, female um, issues, any kind of difficulty with that, you could be healing at this time. Um, there's this kind of um, stardom quality that's very bohemian and organic. Um, and there is also a kind of um, It's like a, the cycles. There's a lot of cycles here. I don't have the moon card anywhere, but um, the cycles of nature. Um, so you're, it's like you're, you're in your uh, summer or your spring. You are glowing up in some sort of way and um, you're shining very brightly. So, and this also can be in finance because um, the Empress rules uh, commerce as well in terms of um, being a, f a female owner or entrepreneur 
Um, this can be literally being a model because of the star quality and the Empress together. Um, this is some sort of popularity or this can even be um, having an Instagram and being an Instagram model um, with the star there. So very interesting with that. So you're thinking a lot about maybe taking a financial step at this time that you haven't taken before that may be new to you. Um, you also could be thinking about going back to school um, or learning something under someone else. You might get news about finances and you're thinking about that a lot as well at this time or maybe maybe thinking about this this newfound um, creative and um, kind of glow up event if this is a job or something a new job then you could be potentially thinking about what you're going to do with your money or how you're going to handle this money and this new money coming into you um, this can be learning about um, anything to do with astrology or um, herbalism or anything to do with um, natural healing as well or um, agriculture, healing with food, healing with um, natural medicine as well. What you're not aware of is maybe you're not paying attention to somebody offering you their cup of uh, of love or a blessing that's coming in maybe you feel um, deep down you're feeling kind of bored with how the status quo of how things have been and you might be reframing um, or, or need a reframing of mind changing your mindset in terms of love or there's something here about being a little bit <clears throat> detached from your core of, of your maybe you're may, maybe a little psychologically detached right now maybe you're a little overwhelmed even um, maybe also your friends could introduce you don't know that your friends are going to introduce you to somebody else who's going to kind of be a romantic option for you Okay, so now I'm seeing the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups together. So this very much indicates marriage, a married couple, and um, it's the other people in your life as well, the King of Cups. So... All right, so now we'll, we'll move on here. The advice is to get clear on what you want, to um, start thinking about a new direction you want to take your life. Um, start winning, pretty much, or let yourself be victorious in the situation. Um, this can also be you are needing some sort of You're needing to see the truth in something, what's real in a situation, what's what's beginning to um, this is also like a new mental um, stimulation as well. And we did say you might be learning something, so you could be going to school or you need to. It's saying that you need to uh, stimulate yourself mentally. Also, this is writing. So if you are a writer, it's telling you that you need to get writing again. What else do I need to know? Other people in the situation could be <clears throat> um, 
helping you in terms of your emotional state or balancing out your emotional state. They may be a doctor or a um, social worker or there's something here about somebody being in the field of, of caring for others. And we did say humanitarianism um, or philanthropy and he is he is that guy. He is the guy that, that helps other people. Um, Queen of Cups more so. She's, she's much more of a um, nurturing um, and helpful person. King of Cups knows when to stay out of helping somebody and when to step in. He's got the boundaries down with that. He's Yeah, you can see he's got a boundary here under his feet that's stopping him from being in the water and she's on the shore beckoning like the tide at her feet. Um, I, she sort of has some rocks or pebbles underneath her, but I don't see that as like um, the same. Like she's barefoot in the water practically, toe in the water. So she just is an open vessel, right? And here we have two vessels being poured, one on the earth and one. So giving to myself, giving back to others. The King of Cups is somebody who knows how to do that and, and has the boundaries with that. The Queen, she's more so just, she takes it as it comes in. Um, so you might be learning some boundaries in terms of um, what you share with other people um, on an intimate or emotional basis. You might also be tr learning how to care for others in terms of um, crisis as well. But the King of Cups can also be like a very, he's a very romantic person. So this is very, in this placement right here, it could be a very sexual nature um, type relationship. Um, but he's he's also he's not like the King of Wands or the the Knight of Wands. He's he's much more um, emotionally in um, attuned and in tune with his own um, feelings. So this could be this person who's kind of deciding when's a good time to kind of step in and and give you some advice or or make a move romantically. Maybe you've been busy with friends and so you're not you're not seeing this as an opportunity just yet. There is something Aries about what you're hoping for in terms of you're hoping to go back to some place of the past. You want to revisit something. It's at a distance from you. It could be your childhood home or your um, place where you grew up or your old school that you went to. Um, there's something about um, a revisiting. We are in Mercury retrograde right now. So there could be some nostalgia coming in in terms of places you would go at a distance from you. This is also... Um, your beliefs, the house of your beliefs. So they also could be about beliefs on intimacy and how to share and, or your, your love language. Um, and also, <clears throat> this is a more receptive energy in terms of intimacy and, and sexuality over here. And I see this being a very sexual um, kind of card as well, energetically. So there's because it's scorpionic, this card. So he could very well be a Scorpio, this person that's coming in. Um, this can also be a gift coming to you from afar someone mailing you something or giving you something 
Um, the gift itself could be like from when somebody went on a trip abroad and it's something that's very unique and, and old looking or has an old feel to it. In the near future, I see you <clears throat> having all of what you need at, at your fingertips and being able to manifest um, whatever you want. So I guess it's just getting clear on where you're going with things um, and, and working with what you have to manipulate the situation. And, you know, I say manipulate because... I don't, I don't look at it as necessarily a negative, in, in the negative context like some people do. Um, I just think that it's um, a molding. You're like molding life right now and you're trying to figure out like, you know, it might have taken a while to get to this point of, of success in this glow up or whatever. Um, this could also be somebody who is getting into makeup artistry. This could be somebody who's working in like Hollywood as a makeup artist or, um, on set as a movie star. I don't have any Leo kind of, oh, well, maybe I do. I have Leo symbology over here with the world card. Um, so it could be any of those types of careers, but with the magician, it, it's more of that there's an unlimited potential. Like, um, you've, you've figured out how the key to your success and you're, and you're going to be able to, um, make it happen for yourself. <clears throat> and it might be like really exhausting at first to get to this point of manifestation. Um, you might be feeling like you just ran a marathon and now you're like, man, what's going to go wrong next? Or, um, how am I going to keep this going? Or, <clears throat> but it seems like whatever struggle that you've had in getting something to go where you want it to go and, um, to do what you want to do. It, it is completed. This The struggles are put in the past and you are able to complete a major, major um, milestone in your life, a major, um, this could be traveling um, abroad as well with a friend. If you've been trying to plan a trip that um, down memory lane to go see somebody, um, this is a major, major thing. You're closing out a huge cycle and, and it's like your life is kind of um, turning a new page, like you're in a new chapter. <clears throat> and that's why I also say the book thing. So this can be like publishing as well. Um, the magician is kind of a Virgo and Gemini energy and <clears throat> I just feel like the, the, the Virgo is the analytical one, right? So he's like anal analyzing the, the thoughts, um, putting the thoughts together, knowing that that creates something, right? So you could be very well publishing a book. Um, this could be a book on anything from astrology to makeup to um, <clears throat> herbalism to um, money, um like, um, what's the word? Um, self-help money book, finances book, something like that. Um, and so you're, you're really able to take it where you want it to go and make it happen for yourself. It, it's been daunting. It's been a struggle, but finally it is completed in the future. And now, then you have to wait for the money. <laughs> then you have to be like, when is the royalty checks going to start coming in? When is the you know, when is my fruits of my labor going to, uh, spill in? But it seems like it does. Cause I see like this, she's running through like that, like that race, right? She just finished the race. And like, then she turns into a bunch of money and it falls at this guy's feet. Like, yeah, I knew it would come eventually. Um, so it just might be a little bit of a wait for, you know, a hurry up and then succeed, but then have to wait again. Um, let's go through the houses. You are going to be glowing. Um, your person is going to be glowing. You might 
um, be doing something new to your skin or your skin is healing in some sort of way. Um, maybe you had acne before and now it's like somebody sees you that hasn't seen you in months and it's like, whoa, you look good. And it's like all cleared up and you feel really good and um, you're really hopeful that, you know, you can keep this kind of nice, um, <clears throat> like smooth, like complexion going and um, drinking more water will help your skin um, this month. It's, it's, it's one of those things. You also... Um, could have people taking your picture a lot. Um, that's another thing that comes through with that. Um, second house. Uh, you might be going organic or um, vegetarian or vegan or um, incorporating more um, natural um, kind of... Um, natural things onto your plate or onto your face. Um, there's some sort of natural makeup or remedy or um, any kind of consumer products that you use. You'll probably be using more earth-based things instead of maybe processed things um, or at least highly processed things. So also, um, what you're consuming, what your resources are, your finances, your self-worth and value. Um, that comes in with the eighth house and the second house. So I see like you finally are emotionally at a place where you feel really good um, about who you are and you're also starting to see how beautiful you are and um you know you're you're being able to um because you're feeling this way you are actually bringing more abundance into your life like you're on that vibration of i am abundant so more is coming into you you might have more financial resources coming into you now um, um resources of all kinds like if you're, for example, a model um, and now you, uh, you do fashion shows or, or have your picture taken in different clothes and stuff, um, you might be getting free clothes or you might be getting free makeup or, you know, you just have more things coming at you. The, the universe is giving back to you and because you have kind of made the land fertile around you, basically. Um, metaphorically or physically you could be planting a garden as well um, and eating the vegetables from that garden or the fruit from or, and herbs from that garden and and that's where this abundance is coming in that you you created um, but also that you you are grateful for because it's been given to you from something else as well not just your work so um, you're able to kind of sit back and, and gestate on, um, this is like literally like digesting your food. Um, like having the time to like really di take things in and like enjoy beautiful things and enjoy luxuries and money and nature and all those things. Third house, um, you could be going to school locally or um, you could get some news. Um, so excuse me, some news um, about some sort of education or, or like a local kind of neighborhood thing. Also, your cousin or your sibling could be going to college or school at this time. Um, They would be probably going into um, high school or college with this card because of the age bracket that it usually represents. This can also be somebody um, in your neighborhood, like a neighbor or something, um, asking for some help financially with something, um, maybe something super mundane and, and practical or something. Um, or this can be you teaching somebody else um, something that you've learned that's a neighbor of yours or a sibling or a cousin. Um, 
this can be you teaching in your local area to people younger than you. Um, you're thinking a lot about some sort of financial news um, or maybe some, some steps you're going to be taking in terms of finances. This could have to be with student loans as well. You got money on your mind. And you might be going to find it locally in your neighborhood somehow. There's So this is a weird thing I'm picking up. Um, some of you have just recently quit drinking and your family are big drinkers. And so you are like, no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want any. Thank you. <laughs> um, that is coming in for me for maybe one or two of you. But um, there's also this kind of uh, needing to shake things up in the family. Maybe go on a trip or something or... Um, Maybe you're not aware that um, someone's pregnant in the family or um, maybe you feel like maybe a little bit bored with the status quo with the family or the home situation. You could be having a, a little get together at the house with friends and then somebody else invites um, someone new that you didn't expect would be attending and you might hit it off with this person. They could be a king or queen of cups, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, fifth house, you are going to be, um, letting the fun come to you. You might be staying a lot at home and saying like, hey, um, you know, I'm not really doing anything. Um, do you want to come here? Or your friends might invite themselves over and, and you're totally cool with that. But um, for some reason, you might be a little bit of a homebody um, this this month period. Just want to chill at home. and But you're letting the fun come to you. Um, you also could be helping out with some sort of um, sports activity in some sort of way or um, you might bake at home for fun or um, there's something here about being really psychic in terms of like um, any kind of uh, gambling I would be careful with that, obviously, because, you know, can't be perfectly psychic all the time. But um, <laughs> there's this there's this being receptive to what comes for you. Like, it's almost like she knows that that something's coming before it does. The wave is coming before it does. She's like, I'm ready to have fun. Who's coming over? <laughs> What's today going to bring? Um, you're taking fun as it comes and you're. I'm a little bit more free um, spirited in terms of, you know, what what fun things um, or creative things as well. Um, this is like having creative flow and knowing like when it doesn't feel right, like when you're feeling blocked in something, you'll switch gears and then it will all of a sudden will come back to you. So you'll have a lot of creative flow for any kind of projects you're doing, um, art, painting, any of that stuff, um, singing, anything like that coming in here. Third house is also, maybe you're learning to sing. Um, Hmm. 
you could be a pediatric nurse or somebody who works with children as well in the caring fields. You could be a cook at a, um, a school cafeteria. Your intimate life will be very sensual and romantic at this time. Um, in terms of your work and your regimen, your routine, I see you really getting some new tools for the job so you can do your job more efficiently um, or you can create so you're getting something that helps you create something else so um this is like any job under the sun um but <laughs> in terms of like you're 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 thinking about how you're going to do your next project and it might be um, a good idea to get some tool that you've always wanted to help you um make or create something um, or produce something as well. If you work from home, this is you just getting another, um, getting your, your office set up and, and having, um, you know, everything at your fingertips that you need to be as efficient as possible to, um, kind of create something out of nothing pretty much, but you'll, you'll have the tools to do that. So you can really, um, stretch the possibilities of what you can do. Um, there are inf infinite possibilities. Excuse me, I can't talk today. Mercury retrograde. This is also the planet um, Mercury too. This card reminds me a little bit of Mercury. Um, Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. So something about that, Virgo and Gemini coming in there at work. Um, in your day-to-day -day life, you're going to have like um, maybe some systems down where you can really kind of make things very efficient. Um, You'll have a set schedule, but be leaving room for, um, there's the, you'll, you'll be smart enough to leave room for like, um, maybe making, making a few like fun little trips here and there during the day or getting, you know, leaving room for, for new in your, in your day. Um. There is some big work goal that you finally have um, figured out how to make happen for yourself. Um, there is also, this is kind of like making life exactly the way you want it in your day to day. So you've really gotten your schedule down exactly, finally the way you want it. So like maybe you changed hours finally at work and you don't have to work the weekends anymore and now you have more time to um, to like do other things like go to the bank or maybe you like have Mondays off now and you can go to the bank and, and get everything done and you have a system um, to make everything happen that, that, that works for you and, and that feels like... Um, it's nice and balanced. Your health as well. Um, you might have been working on that for some time. And you have really got all the tools to, at your fingertips as saying to um, be your healthiest self. Um, you might have just gotten some gym equipment. Um, you might have got a membership to the gym or... Um, 
got a um, running, what, what is this, a, a treadmill or something like that. <clears throat> This is also doing magic for a living. This can be reading tarot for a living. With the um, star card not that far away, it's astrology as well. Um, in the seventh house, you get clear on a relationship. Um, I think it's a romantic relationship. Or... If it's not a romantic relationship, you get some, um, an, an idea or some sort of download that, that helps you understand a situation better with a partner of some kind. Um, like maybe you weren't seeing this person as the, this person's, you weren't understanding their love language maybe initially. Um, and now you are, you get clear on that. So you're able to make a decision about that or move forward. Um, and decide where you want to grow this <clears throat> in, a, in, a, in a different direction or this is also contracts and so um, you could be writing up a contract this month or you could be signing a contract this month um, something here about contracts and um, the beginning of something um, in partnership. Eighth house of Scorpio with the Scorpio man in it. Somebody's, t um, somebody is like very mysterious um, in some sort of way that this could be a romantic partner that's maybe not giving you um, wearing his um, heart in his sleeve so maybe that's why you haven't or, or her on her sleeve um, or their sleeve whatever um, maybe that's why you haven't gotten the picture yet maybe you're not aware you haven't realized that this person actually cares about you and wants to be in a romantic relationship for you. I think that they might be, if this is you in the past here, and these this these two are not already married or a couple in your life, um, this could be marriage material for you if that's what you're looking for. This is also... Um, medical debt as well so um you could be kind of wrapping that up in some sort of way um the only reason i say that is because the king of cups can be a doctor sometimes um and he's in the eighth house also this is a surgeon he could be a surgeon having this right underneath i would think that he might be So either you might be having some kind of cosmetic surgery or procedure done. Um, and this maybe is the guy that you meet that maybe you hit it off romantically. I don't know. And it feels like there's something here about he's, this person's a very caring person, somebody who cares for other people for a living maybe. Um, He also might be somebody who works in the crisis fields. So um, somebody who is a social worker or, or, you know, specialist in trauma or an ER doctor. Or she's an ER doctor or whatever way you want to take that. Um... He's really good under pressure. He's very emotionally balanced, the King of Cups. So um, being in the house of crisis, um, he's also very intuitive and psychic. So he might work 
as in any of the occult fields or the psychic fields, being in the eighth house. He's somebody who wants to be intimate with you, maybe, as well. He's looking for um, depth. He's, he's a very deep person, and he's looking for that in another person. Yeah, I see internal medicine here or some sort of surgical... Um, somebody who goes deep with something, whether it's inside a human body or if it, maybe he, he uh, digs deep down, maybe he works as a miner or something, um, an archeologist, um, something like that. An oil rig guy, I, I don't know. Somebody who digs in, in the ground for something. Or, or, or maybe he's like, a psychic investigator or some sort of um, police investigator. Um, there's something there about him being very scorpionic and um, being kind of in his own element. Um, he could write books, mystery books or um, something like that. Yeah, you could get a gift from, from a foreign land, or you could find you could find love and um, at a distance as well. And with the star card there, um, that can be a very much a, and the world card being all here on the table, that can be a romantic relationship. Um, at a distance, meeting someone abroad. This is the gift of a of a trip, so someone could pay for you to go and fly somewhere. This is also like um, somebody thinking that somebody's um, differences are sexy. Um, because they're not from the same place, they're attracted to each other because of, of where they come from or the, that they're different in some sort of way. The eighth house is also sexuality, so this could very well be um, a gay man, someone who's, who's homosexual or... Um, Just having the star card and the this card above above the King of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the King of Cups. Maybe this person is um, LGBT or very thoughtful and sweet person in general. This also can be if you are, if this resonates with you, obviously. Um, in the past, you dated more feminine, like, receptive people. And now you're dating more, like, masculine, um, masculine, um, divine masculine type people. He is the most sensitive of all of the kings. He is the one that's like the most emotional person, but still like in touch. He, so he's in touch with his his feminine side, and he he's also um, he's just balanced in his in, in his dynamics. 
yeah, gifts from afar, a trip, a gift of a trip to a foreign place. Um, this is also your beliefs about the past and maybe remembering things in a good way on trying to stay positive or making things bigger than they were. Remember when you were a kid and you remembered something and you were like, oh, it was so, and then, and then somebody, you you know, one of your grandparents or your parents tell you and they're like, no, actually it was a lot less dramatic or, um, but to a kid, everything seems like so much bigger and, and brighter and, um, You could also be nostalgic of your first time with somebody, your first intimate experience with somebody. Um, they may live at a distance now, or there could be a picture of you two hanging out together that you find um, on a trip or um, just stumble across. You could also receive a gift that has something to do with spirituality. The lily, I think, I feel like that's a lily in there. It's a, about innocence, right? And, um... It, so this card in this placement is like what we believe um, when we're younger, our, our innocence and um, how that's, you could be reminded of, of when you were uncorrupted by the world and, and um, kind of, it, it'll be like a bittersweet kind of more sweet than bitter um, memory. Okay, and then we will go to the 10th house. Um, your status, your reputation, um, you're trying to keep it together um, for a good face. Um, I feel like you might be pretty daunted by whatever's going on in your career, um, whatever your... Um, whatever you're experiencing in terms of um, maybe you just had some gossip said about you or something and, and, or, or maybe you had a little bit of a, a misstep in career at one point. And so you're like, it's a quick pick myself up and just pretend like nothing happened. Um, so you might, you might be a model and you might tr have tripped on the runway and you were really embarrassed or um, you might have um, fell off a stage when you were acting and hurt yourself and now you're you're just playing it cool like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm not bleeding or anything. <laughs> um, there's some sort of... This is also people having seeing you as the victim in a situation and now that is coming to an end. So you're more of the hero of your own story than a victim of, of whatever um, ensued in terms of your career and your reputation. Maybe you just got out of um, some sort of manipulative kind of toxic relationship and and people are seeing you as like really kind of standing your ground and really holding your own even after a struggle um you might have used your intuition and it, and it might have benefited you about getting away from this relationship um I don't know, there's something about the the Empress there with the magician. I feel like that's real, um, that's babies. That's creating babies. So, um, <laughs> I 
there is something here about you producing something or um, if it's not a, a literal baby, it could be um, you working on figuring out I'm, I've lost it, darling. I've lost it. Why? It happens once in a great while, right? <sighs> the healing of the divine feminine is here. And the divine masculine is is kind of beat up over here. <laughs> he's uh he's got what he's deserved in some sort of way. Um You really have a good balance of divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Um there's the receptivity of like it will come to me here. And this is like, no, nah, I'm good. I can create it too. I can, I can make it happen if I have to. So there's, there's this nice like, kind of careening back and forth, like between going and getting it and just letting it come to you. Yep, people will be looking at you as if you just, um, you're just a fighter. They, they're seeing you as a fighter now, not a victim. I think that's, you really pushed through, like, they're seeing you at the end of a struggle, and then you just, you push through and complete something, and um, now you completed something, and now you're you're waiting for it to finish up. So this could be like you just finished and graduated also. Um, maybe your job has been like school for a while. I feel like he's pointing up here. So like this look remind always reminds me of a graduation kind of um, an initiation ceremony, a graduation ceremony. Um, and then this guy, he's he's looking over and applauding, right? I feel like he's like almost applauding um, and then there's the bow here, um, and now there's the waiting for the paycheck, right? There's the waiting for, um, what we've, all, all that we've done to, like, pay off. There's a harvest here. So, also, she's pregnant, right? And this is about timing and waiting. So, y you could just be waiting for a creative project or something, some type of project to finally manifest, um, some finances for you or if it's if it's like a literal baby and you're pregnant and you could be waiting for that that time where you can give birth to a baby to a um, new job career something like that like you might be switching careers at some point um, <clears throat> also friends your friends could be um, taking a trip to see you from very far away um, they also could be m finishing up a major cycle in their life. Um, and so you kind of both are experiencing this and might be um, sharing these kind of special moments together. I think maybe some of you have been saving for college of some kind or saving money for some sort of institution that you want to be a part of or go to school at or um, this is also waiting for somebody to um, be free and get out of jail. <laughs> um, I 
I don't have the Eight of Swords, but that's, that's what I'm getting. Like, there's a freedom. You're waiting, waiting to be free. Um, this can also be a divorce or separation that you already have been going through, and you're just waiting for things to finally end so that you can move on with your life. Or a friend is, do, is waiting for that to happen so she, they can move on with their lives. It may take you longer to fall asleep during this period. So really kind of um, maybe go to bed a little earlier. Um, it might just be like a lot of waiting around for you to fall asleep. Um, Um, I see you like maybe watching somebody on the TV um, during a race, doing a race of some kind. Some sort of competition. This is also... Um, somebody who has a warrior reputation. So this can be like watching war on the TV or watching some historical um, documentary about um, world events. You are being seen for what you're producing and you're getting the spotlight on you. You're glowing up, Aries. Um, you are manifesting the end of any kind of struggles in your life and um, you're doing it with style and grace. Um, a major accomplishment of a life cycle. Um, something to do with the internet as well. Um, very prevalent. You could be do, doing a business from home on the internet. Um, you could be modeling. You could be in the beauty industry or fashion industry of some kind or going to school for those things. Um, there's a relationship here. There could be a married couple that's help, helping you through this. Um, and during this time of the eclipse, which will be happening in May, the Scorpio eclipse. You know, it's funny. I don't see in any of these photos, I mean, excuse me, cards, I don't see a moon. You might very well come out unscathed from this eclipse. It'll feel like it didn't happen. Um, or it'll be so positive of an experience that it, you know, you might, you might not even think of it as like, oh, it's nothing, you know, oh, if you're into that sort of thing, if you're into astrology. Um, the only thing I see here is that he's falling, the Scorpio guy is falling in the Scorpio house and that's where the, the full moon is. So you might meet this person around that time, around May 5th, if this is a romantic interest that's going to come into your life, or a helper, healer of some kind. You could find some sort of picture from when you and your friend were much younger and, and really be, um, or they could send it to you in the mail. Um, that's another thing I see. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I will see you in June and have a great one. Bye.